Hello. Welcome. We're going to start working on showing you how to create a simple modified recipe within um, Custom Craft 2 or Subnautica. So here's your basic syntax that you need to create your first modified. And keep in mind the name has to be met. I don't think the name has to be modified recipe. So that's how I do it. So this is the basic layout of your first item you're going to create. And this is how you do your comments with the hashtag. To get started, we need to go to the original recipe. Go find one of the recipes we wish to change. And I tend to go with the personal tools. So, go ahead and get the flashlight. We need the item ID. We'll go into the item ID. I'm going to copy the battery. Put it in the ingredient. Glass. And you see, we have an extra slot, which we can't leave empty. We'll go ahead and pick something out of the blue. We'll make a flashlight now require copper wire. Now you see, this is really important here. You see this comma? If you're, if you're continually adding stuff to the recipe, you're going to want to use the comma. Now once you're finished with the last item in your recipe, you're going to want this. I'm going to put this at the end, okay? Now, if this was the only item that you were going to um, modify, you'll have to end it the same. I'm telling it it's the last. We're not going to make it the last. We're going to go ahead and make another recipe. Okay? Then we're going to select something new, like um, scanner. We already have something we can go ahead and paste in a new name. Paste in the, well, we already have a battery. We're gonna go with a titanium. And now we'll just tell them they need crash pipe. And you see these numbers you could totally play with two, you could require two, require one crash powder. And this is basically all you're gonna need for this recipe. You just wanna edit the base to items, you could just go ahead and save. There's other things you can do within Custom Craft 2 that requires a little more thought. Go ahead and save. All right. I don't want to work on a new tab here. So what we're going to have to do is think of what the tab we want to create. And for my example, I'm going to go ahead and take the tab from the mod that I've created. So. I'm going to go ahead and create a tab. We'll call it hot food. And food's going to have the nutri nutrient as its icon. We'll place in the sprite name. And the display name will be. And right now we're going to go ahead and leave it at the base area of the fabricate, which is going to be right in the front. And now we're all spin you. Doesn't matter. That's complete. So technically, there's going to be a new tab called New Foods right when you open your fabricate. 
Now, we're going to want to create a food. And our food we're going to create can be our cheese. We will also have to create an alias asset, I mean, for this item. So let's go ahead and find this cheeseburger. Do you believe I took it out of here? Here's the cheese. We're going to make it as simple as possible. So just like the other recipe, it's not going to be short like that other one. Alias recipes have to look like the original recipes that are shown in the original files that comes with custom crafts. So bread's not an actual thing. We're going to change this other item. I'm just buy my this. All right, working files. Just want the coral chunk. We're going to require a coral chunk. And uh, we're going to require two of those because that's going to be like the bread, two peepers, one crime peep. Peep line peep. You know how we stuck it on to uh, food? We have to put the tab that we want it in. All right. So if we want to test this, first need to drop the files into some other graph. Right now I'm going to go clear out the files. Have too many. All right. Now that we're empty, you grab the files we edited. We get our modified recipe, alternate alias recipe, and then we need our custom. We need to paste these. I believe we're ready to go just off the bat. I'm going to close this display and um, start another one. Just waiting for us. Right. Now we're still here, just gotta get the game on. Bear with me. We're going to see if our stuff works. There's a surefire way to find out. That's the Nautica, Nautica data, is output. This will help you so much. And it looks like our food works. All right, go ahead and load up. Okay. I'm going to explain a few other things. 
just so you know what they do. There's going to be more episodes to this, so you will know how to create your own files other than these three. And formatting is so important. You get one thing wrong, and Custom Craft will tell you that it's wrong. It won't give you exactly where it's at, but it will tell you something's wrong in a specific in a file. It won't load it because there's a problem. It could cause your whole mod to mess up. Oh, we're almost in. Hope our cheeseburger is there. Load there, huh? All right, look, we're right in front of this. Look at that new food cheeseburger. Look at that, that's awesome, right? All right, in the part now, we're gonna go to tools, go to the flashlight and the scanner. Look at that. Flashlight now requires copper wire. And our scanner requires cave sulfur. That, that's cool, huh? Now, cheeseburger icon I had edited before. And it's in my file, so assets are just not going to show up. You have to go ahead and find your asset and remove the background for it to be. Now, going back to our files, which I have to switch my views now. All right, we're back desktop. Go back to our files. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make this cheeseburger edible. All right, inside one of my files, I've already done it. I'm just going to take the code, a functional ID. You'll put that right in with the code, no matter where you want. Plastered in here. Now we say it's going to, when you craft it, it's going to look like a Reginald. We're going to put it back into the room. This is the functional ID. It tells the item how it works. So that's all I could show you right now.